Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today, I've got a Sainsbury's food haul for you. Um, this came to the grand total of £76.78.9.8p. 8, 8 um, I had two substitutions, I kept them both. I have had one freebie, which I will show you in a minute. Um, nice driver, my only negative things are crammed in a little bit so you'll see both my salad items are a bit squished but such is life they're still very much usable so yes uh i will jump right in and show you the groceries and there is a quick overview it is extremely warm here today so apologies if i'm talking quick but i'm keen to get all of this in the fridge and freezers freezers freezer we only have one <laughs> let's start over here lots of Lots of stuff really it's for 76 quid i think um we got two bottles of the diet pepsi caffeine free one two oh this was our freebie tropicana whole fruit please focus please focus there we go high in fiber smooth uniquely squeezed and scooped <laughs> uh yeah they also did you could either have apple or orange the color scares me a little bit <laughs> not gonna lie but i suppose that's because it's the uh high fiber they've done it with the skin and stuff i imagine but yeah that was our freebie um i wanted to try this i normally buy branded one from the pound shop this is some bath soak but this was actually less than a pound from sainsbury's so i thought i'd try it no, moisture satin bath soak I've got some almond milk for john's smoothies um, I got some hair colour because the roots need a doing. <laughs> um, oh, to confirm the crushed comment, that's our milk. It's fine, it's not split or anything, so it'd be absolutely fine. But yeah, this was at, like shoved right into the physical bottle. John kind of tweaked it. But yeah, four pints of filtered skimmed milk. This is something that I've just rediscovered over the last few weeks that I really like. I really like oh, sugar-free iron brew. Yeah, I like it. John doesn't, I do. This was one of my substitutions. I ordered two of the Sainsbury's own brand porridge pots. I quite like these for work when I've got up late. They kind of we leave the house at like half seven quarter to eight um and if i haven't had time to make breakfast to eat once i'm there these are quite good to grab but say they're much bigger they're called the big pots so these weren't what i ordered but i'm okay with it second bottle of pepsi ground almonds so we got some last week and i made a pizza with it uh this week we've got some and i'm just going to do uh, some breaded in brackets chicken or well, actually turkey but yeah that's for that um some broccoli got some blueberries some asparagus some british red cabbage with bran bramley apple i really love that stuff um oh i fancy these for a change so we got some peaches um a bit of cheese some French brie, yum, and I think that's feta from memory. Yeah, feta cheese. Uh, haven't had bread this one for a while. This is the Hovis Lower Carb Deliciously Seeded. Just fancied it. <laughs> it's really hot and sunny today, but a couple of days ago, pouring down with rain, and I was like, mmm, I really fancy some bread and some butternut squash soup. So I bought it and now the sun's come back and I'm like, it's too hot to eat bread and butternut squash soup. But, you know, it'll be fine. Uh, some sprouts, some cherry tomatoes, some sour cream and chive dip, some be good to yourself coleslaw, some marshmallows. If you follow me on Instagram and you've seen the Insta stories, you'll know that John and I have uh, got a new addiction. And our new addiction is s'mores. And as such, we have a lot of marshmallows in the house now. Um, and cheetahs, s'mores, uh, use milk chocolate digestives. 
trust me, it's good. We've got some strawberries. I got some of this stuff, which I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, I saw on, it was either on a YouTube video or somebody's Insta story, they really recommended this rather than Parma ham. So I'm going to do tapas type style tea one evening this week. And I thought, yeah. I say, I saw it recommend, recommended. It's like, I'm sure it's going to be lovely. But yeah, we got that. So yeah, there's my, uh, it's summer and I want to make soup. Something not quite right with me. But yeah, butternut squash. Um, again, for my little tapasi, we've got some char grilled calamari and some chicken and chorizo empanadas. Butchering pronunciation there. A um, couple of ciabatta rolls, cucumber, peppers. Um, salted tortillas. These are less than a pound and I really like them. John has uses the dip that I'm sure I've already shown you. I eat them just like that. So yeah. This is my two squish bags. Uh, some <laughs> bistro salad and some spinach. The spinach doesn't matter so much because it's for cooking. Whereas this is actually for salad purposes. It's fine. Um, Cocktail sausages, giant flat mushrooms, which I really enjoy. Oh, this is also for the tapas. Some spinach and feta parcels. Really fancied a cheeky tiramisu. These are nice. They Sainsbury's do a big square one, which is a lot nicer. Um, but it's like twice the size and I'll still eat it all. So for portion control and calorie purposes... These are, these are good, but the bigger ones are nicer. Uh, we've got some water biscuits. I really like those. I eat these with nothing on. Like, does anyone else do that with water biscuits? I know you're meant to put cheese on them, but I like them just the way they are. <sighs> Bridget Jones. Anyone else get that reference? Uh, chicken thighs. Some prawns. Uh, we got, oh, these were the other substitutions. I ordered the reduced fat quarter pounder burgers. They substituted them for the full fat ones. One burger is 221 calories, which is okay for the weekend. It'd be fine. Oh, no, that's okay anyway, isn't it? You know, protein, I suppose. Um, we got some of the summer edition lamb and mint kebabs. We both really like those. My other addiction that I'm not ready to talk about. <laughs> I talk about it every week at the food hall. Uh, salted pretzels, love them. Bananas, mostly for smoothies to be fair, but I think we're going to do pancakes on Sunday. So they're very green. So hopefully this heat will help them yellow up a little bit. Some sun-dried tomato with garlic couscous. Two packs of these little olives. I've said it before, I really like these. Basically, there's no need to drain, so they're really great to take to work because you can eat them at your desk and you just need, like, a tissue to wipe your fingers because you do get herby fingers while you eat them, but they don't make a mess, which is good. I've got some quick cook turkey steaks. There. These are what I'm going to, like, do turkey schnitzels with, with the almond flour. That's the plan, anyway. Got some cool jets. These mini twister lollies, really like those. Um, oh, got some red onions. A pineapple. And the last thing is some frozen berries. Uh, we bought protein the other day, and I've had a couple of smoothies this week. Um, and I just think I would like it more with berries than banana. So yeah, that's what I'm going to try. And that is this week's groceries. Again, sorry if I've spoken too quickly, but it's really hot. So I want to get the meat in the fridge, frozen in the freezer. Don't want anything to go bad. But yes, that's this week's groceries. I hope you've enjoyed the video. For anyone that's interested, I had a rant. Not my last food haul, but the food haul before about Asda. Still haven't had all my items refunded to me. Just in case anyone's interested. Um, but yes. These are my groceries. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you had a good day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.